Hey, hi everyone. So as you guys know that we are doing a series on how to convert your Binance script code into Go charting sleepy code. Okay. So you must have seen the video number one. If you have not seen, kindly watch that video. So today we are doing a uh, video number two where we will be again converting one uh, uh, Pine script code to Lippy code. So I have uh, with me my developer friends. So hey guys, welcome you all. Hello. Hi. Hi. So yeah, so yeah, can we start the today's video? Over to you guys. Okay. So today we will be converting this one uh, indicator via the squeezy pro so if we can let's see so let's copy this from uh, pine script editor to go charting sleepy editor let's create a new one clicking on new let's give it a name example zero one let's create it it's been created let's paste the whole thing okay so let's debug the whole thing what we can do so first of all as we know that from the previous video that lippy recommends you to use talib instead of ta so what we can do let's uh, we can do let's replace all the ta dot with Talib dot. So let's replace all. Okay. So we have replaced it. Now let's see what are the errors. So now we can see here on Pine script they have used alerts. So on this Lippy's documentation page, we can see that they they are mentioning that they have a limitation that they don't support alerts on functionality alert functionality on indicators yet so what we can do is let's delete this part and also to notice that this uses a scope like python so that's why it is giving an error so let's first convert it to what they support then we can go ahead Okay, now let's see what are the errors. Okay, so now this error. So this error is happening because currently Lippy does not support inline comments. What are inline comments? That you have a statements and uh, beside that you have a comment. So currently they don't support that. So what we can do, let's shift this to the upper line. okay now we can see the errors are gone so let's see what is the error next next it says talib not found so what this error suggests it that if we let's search it in the manual itself talib dot tr so we can see that there is only a function there is no variable talib dot tr right so what we can do is convert it to a function let's convert it to a function so we can see that it the error is now gone okay now let's check the next error so next error it says could not find function or functions reference alert as we have discussed earlier that alert function is not yet available in lippy so what we can do let's remove the whole alert sections itself for now OK, now the next error is we can see that it says no variable with plot found. So style, let's go to plot. So here we can see, let's search it in the manual itself. What does plot accepts? So function, we have this plot. So let's see. So style. So style, we can see that it accepts plot style type. So plot style, plot style dot step br, plot style dot histogram like that. So what we can do is 
let's type here plot style so here the suggestion is there so after the dot so there are suggestions so column is not here but similar to column bar is there so it will look the same similar so let's check the next error so it says again so circle so style dot so circle is not there as you can see but similar to circle scatter is available here okay so so let's save it let's apply it so as you can see we have applied but nothing is visible now let's see why that is the case so what we can see it is not there so color dot new so what color dot new accepts as we can see it accepts alpha as the variable so what is alpha alpha is basically the opacity value so the value ranges from z zero to one so what fine script uses they use a transparency value that also that ranges from zero to 100 so 100 means it's fully transparent zero means it's opaque but what lippy uses it's alpha or opacity value with range which ranges from zero to one so what is zero means zero means is fully transparent and one means it's fully opaque that's why we could not see any color so what we can do let's do let's replace it with one this all of them with one okay so now let's save it let's apply it so now as you can see the indicator is there all the colors are there and it's looking beautiful so this is the difference so what you can also do instead of just using one let's say like using one and using just color dot orange it is it, the same thing because by default the color all is with the opacity one now if you want to change the opacity then use color dot new otherwise you can use the constant directly so by default the value will be one yeah value will always be one it will be fully opaque now if you want to change the transparency you can use the color dot new font. Mm. great great completely understood yeah so you so have um, version 5 is not required at the start of the code it's not no, it's not, in, it yeah. is not required it is basically useless but uh -huh. if you even if you just give it it will not give you any error so yeah just have to you have to make sure that you take care of this inline comments when you converting a pine script code to lippy so that you have to take care otherwise as you can see it is not much of that difficult to convert the code yeah some functions are not available and but it will also indicate you that on the code editor itself that this function is not available like that it will help you okay so so if i can summarize whatever points you have told is so first thing is we do not need any version okay because lippy is in the first version Second thing is instead of TA, uh, Lippy has a talib. So you, so one can simply replace TA dot uh, to talib dot. Then third was uh, that uh, Lippy as of now, uh, they don't have the alert system. So uh, if there is any alert related code in the Pine script, one can simply delete that. Mm -hmm. And the fourth one was related to color whatever you have told like uh, the lippy has the opacity thing instead of transparency uh, which is from 0 to 100 in pi, uh, in pine script lippy has opacity which is from 0 to 1 if i'm not wrong yeah 
okay so and if i'm missing anything you can add here but i think these are the important uh, take aways from today's discussion mm -hmm. and also you need to have a thing about the scope so what what uh, pine script uses they use a spit tabs as scoping so let's say after a uh, condition let's say open get up then close right they they use like this let's say x equals to right but what what uh, lippy uses it's curly braces and inside of curly braces you can put it like this oh so this was a very important addition mm -hmm. okay so this will this will happen uh, for all uh, functions conditions right yeah loops Right. Wherever scopes are used, you have to use like this with curly braces, and inside that you have to put the code. Understood. 